from this morning, the S&P was down three quarters of a percent before as investors await tomorrow's critical July CPI print. My next guest says while he expects the report to be encouraging, it likely won't be enough to conclude that the Fed is done hiking. Let's bring in Evercore's Roger Altman on the news line. Roger, uh, it's great to have you. I, I mean, it seemed hey, like a, a, a month ago or so when we got the prior CPI report, it was 3 percent. We kind of celebrated that maybe uh, the job was close to being done on inflation, maybe a little more choppiness in the data, energy prices up. Well, how do you think that sets us up for, uh, for the Fed and, and how close it is to its destination? Well, first of all, I don't know, uh, as no one else does, what tomorrow's actual figure will be. But I suspect there'll be a lot of noise in it in the following sense. I think the headline CPI figure may be up slightly. Uh, you just mentioned that it was 3% year over year last month. I think it could be a little higher, although, you know, it'd be great if it wasn't. Um, uh, but I think core... CPI is going to be uh, too high from the Fed's point of view. It's going to be in the fours, I think, and uh, and I think that's why that and that is the main reason I say that I don't think the data tomorrow will be sufficient for financial markets or for that matter the Fed itself to conclude that the job is done. And the underlying economy uh, is surprisingly strong. We all know that the 2.4 percent. Real growth figure for the second quarter was pretty strong mm -hmm. by standards of this late in the recovery. The recovery is about three years old. And the very, very anecdotal data, data about this current quarter, obviously very early in the quarter, so still, still uh, is showing even more strength. So if you're the Fed, you look at that strength, you look at what I'll call a noisy number tomorrow uh, that is not low enough. Uh, and you say to yourself, the job is not done. I'm not suggesting, therefore, the Fed will hike further. That will be dependent mm -hmm. on additional data. But I don't think the Fed will conclude uh, that the job is done and, they'll, and, and will we'll, uh, we'll suggest that publicly. Some yeah. governors may, of course, talk like that. You saw that from the Philly Fed governor just a little while ago. But I don't think the overall message will be we can – Relax now. There'll be no more red, uh, rate hikes at all. Sure. And, and certainly most Fed officials are, are, not, are far from sounding at all clear, and they want to make sure that uh, they're still on the case. On the other hand, uh, the message seems to be that they're happy to allow time to do some of the work here. We have rates roughly where they need to be. Uh, higher for longer is the message, which maybe is enough uh, as, the, as parts of the economy decelerate from here. So it seems that the market's made its peace with, it, with that idea that, you know, okay, every six or seven weeks we might have to contend with a quarter point bump, uh, but otherwise it's status quo. Well, the markets are buying the soft landing school of thought in a big way. Uh, a few weeks ago, I thought that the uh, there was about a 50-50 split in the global financial community as to whether we were going to see a soft landing or a hard landing. And now the major narrative, as you well know, is that of a soft landing, meaning no recession. Uh, and so uh, that, that's the main reason, I think, why uh, the equity markets have been strong in recent weeks. I mean, the S&P 500 is up between 17 and 18 percent for the year, and, and we all know the NASDAQ up more than that and so forth. Um, and that's the way what the market is thinking now. We're going to avoid a recession. And based on the, as I said, the most recent economic data, uh, that seems to be a logical conclusion. I personally think it's too soon to tell because mm -hmm. monetary policy operates with such a long lag. And we really are seeing remarkable tightening between both the nominal funds rate and the impact of quantitative tightening uh, on the so-called proxy rate, which the San Francisco Fed publishes. Uh, but it, the markets at the moment see the soft landing school as the main, uh, the main picture, and that's what they're responding to. Yeah, and it's obviously the direction of surprise would be anything that complicates that view.